Hello, everyone. Good oh. news, Claude. I'll be quiet. HQ has awarded you with a medal. <laughs> Shut up. Hello, everyone. What is going on? My name is the J Hat, and today we're back with some more Valkyrie Chronicles 4. And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did didn't we already see this part last episode? I think. I think so. So there might be a jump cut right here. Oh man, Miles. Yep. You should have I'm seen the sure look on your face. All right, that was a lot of left clicks later. I, I mean, I'm sure for you guys it was just a jump cut, but for me it was a lot of left clicks. Ah, <laughs> uh, still messing around with that book, huh? Yeah. Raz. It's a journal, stupid. That your plan for after the war? Break into writing? Better buy me a drink with that sweet bestseller cash. It's nothing that exciting. Just keeping a little journal. We're on the front lines of a goddamn <laughs> war, and you're writing gossip in a diary? Oh my gosh. I think it's this good Raz to keep guy a is getting on my ass That's all. all the time. Plus, it helps me organize my thoughts. <laughs> and I guess it's that a habit weird. I picked up from, <laughs> you know, him. Have for who? You know, if you're that interested, we can buy a diary for you. Like hell. Yeah, like hell. <laughs> He's too alpha for that, Fair Raz. Enough. I guess you wouldn't have much reason to. Well, what the hell's that supposed to mean? Well, like I'm some goddamn illiterate? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, just. I'm not sure your thoughts are deep enough that there'd be any point in organizing them. Well, shit, he's a sergeant. I hope he's got some thought. Oh, you son of a... I don't have to take this from your nerd ass. Yeah, that's it. Call him a nerd ass. Miles, is that how they usually act around each other? Don't worry. They're just messing around. <laughs> I don't think there's any actual offense. Shit. Oh. But he I just called me a nerd. I mean, that. not me. Claude, You've a nerd ass. Longer than I, have. I mean, that's just rude. Must be nice, ending up in the same squad as some old best friends from your hometown. Best friends? <laughs> what, Raz and Claude? Uh, yes. Yes. I mean, we played together when we were kids, but Raz started running with the wrong crowd, and then. <laughs> Started getting fucking anyway, gangs and shit. I don't know that I'd call them friends. More like a bully and his mark. I never would have figured they'd end up all buddy buddy. Let alone Raz taking orders from Claude of all people. Yeah, because as stated before, Claude is a nerd ass. Oh. So apparently is uh that actually explains intelligent a lot. enough to uh take a field commission. Well, it lines up with other things I've heard. But they say the toughest bonds are the ones forged in fire, huh? Things yeah, did change that, uh, between them. It was probably thanks to an incident back in training. An incident in training. What happened? Back then. Back then. Back then. Bu -bu -bu -bu. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Maybe. But that guy's earned a place on my shit list for life. It was one button undone. I didn't expect him to deck me and send me on a 40k run. 40k, wait a minute. That's 20 miles ish? Maybe? Right? No, I think it's a little less than 20, right? Because I think a kilometer is about 2 point... Or no, a mile is about 2.2 .2 kilometers, I think. There was a lesson in Math's that. hard. Conversions. The battlefield, the slightest mistake could cost you your life. Yeah, but remember when he found my Zyga. contraband? That guy's got a tiny head compared to his fucking shoulder pads. Look at those things. Oh, that beautiful pinup by your bunk? I understand confiscating it, but I wasn't expecting him to return it, uh, <laughs> used. Used, nice. Oh, I'm peeking super hard right now. Maybe, maybe I'm alright, I don't know. Keep going. Oh, did Zyga's wifey cheat on him with an officer? Talk about Zyga. an honorable discharge. <laughs> Holy shit, man, that's Bastard. great. Bastard! Oh, Betty, my angel, what did he do to you? Why don't you give him a name? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Zyga, but I guess love hurts. <laughs> guess you've earned the right to hold a little grudge. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to the commander of Squad E. That'd be Claude. Meet your new leader, Second, Second Lieutenant, Lieutenant Claude, Claude Wallace. Wallace. Claude? Wallace? 
Yo. Oh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Never imagined we'd run into each other out here. That guy is always like pissed uh, off. Hello. It's uh, nice to see you again, Kai. Raz? Scaredy Claude? You're supposed to be our leader? Wait, even... Like hell, okay. I'm ever taking orders from you. Soldier, you are speaking to your superior officer. <laughs> He's yeah, a goddamn coward is what he is. And I'll say it as many times as I want. Raz, enough. Enough for you? I'm never gonna respect this son of a... Son of a... Hyphen. Raz. That's it! You're dismissed from today's training! Get running! I want 100 kilometers! 100, 100 kilometers? That's... That's like 40 miles. Sure, whatever you want. Sign me up, long as I don't have to listen to him! I have to say, Raz, I'm surprised at your cowardice. What did you just say? Uh-oh. True. Dems is fighting words. The ratios of physical and mental capability in this squad may be a bit uneven. But that's something that could be covered between the two of us. Isn't that right? Uh. Or do you think you can't complete the Ranger curriculum having to carry around the weight of our comrades? Of uh, course not! I'd finish this thing even if I have to carry the others on my back! <laughs> then it's settled. That, that sounds like me when I'm playing COD. I'll win this game even if I have to carry my teammates on my back! Sounds like you're all well, set, unless I'm playing Lieutenant count, Wallace. Then, if I'm playing count, then, uh, yeah. According to our Pubs, though, that's a different story. Time for your mock combat mission. Mock combat mock mission? Mock battle? They want to test the squad's abilities. They need to know if we're ready Fucking, to take on the Ranger Let's do this airsoft battle, man. Ha! Hope they're ready to see what Gallians are made of. Fine by me. But who's playing our enemy in this trial? The Ranger Corps elites. Ranger well, Corps that elites. ought to be. Wait, what the hell? How are we supposed to beat them? The Ranger course is no playground. We're making quite an exception to let your whole squad attempt this. We'll see if your this, results can justify it. This doesn't seem like the best way to uh, train somebody. It's like, all right, so we're gonna train you to uh, say, just for example, if you're working. Yeah, like a factory and like, all right, we're going to train you on this equipment, but first they see if you're capable of doing it. We're just going to let you fucking operate it by yourself. Like, that, that doesn't seem like the, the right way to do it. You know, there's no training behind it. How, like, I mean, I guess being a soldier is different, but as, in, in a sense, it's kind of the same thing. Like, I don't know, it's a bad analogy, but like, I don't know. They... they, they <sighs> Like talking a big game about this ranger fucking course, Looks and like then there's no training. Just will be a trial jump right fire. into it. Well, Claude, time to do the impossible, right? I, I'm sure there'd be training after, like right. uh, tactics We're not and going to lose this. logistics and all that good stuff that goes into soldiering. But I mean, it's... all right, hey, evaluation. All right, we gotta get an A on this, boys. Let's go over the details of the mock battle. There we go. Come on. Oh my god, that guy got absolutely blasted. <laughs> Holy shit! Come on! Let's go! Boom. Oh my god, that never gets old. Die! We'll find out. Come on! Die! Come on! Alright. Now, if I can just, like, get behind some cover, that'd be pretty ideal. There we go. Take a grenade, bitch. I I don't even know if I'll be able to reach over there. Let's, like, kill this guy. Potential. Accuracy up. Gotcha! Woo! Boom, headshot. Yes. Hey, operation complete. Let's see how great we get. I feel like we did pretty good. Excuse me, I feel like we did very well. Shit. Hey, we got a B. We never got an A in this game because I suck at it. The Federation has maintained its momentum. We're pushing ahead into Imperial territory. Yup. Do I have to click? As our front line expands, I don't know. we're running low on personnel and supplies, but mostly within projections. 
So long as we believe in victory, and our allies, and in ourselves, we can keep fighting. Hey, new episode. Tutorial sub-episodes. Some episodes be listed in book mode and marked with an asterisk. Sub-episodes run parallel to the plot. Being a sub-episode is optional and not required to advance the game. However, they do offer new perspectives on major events unfolding throughout history. Is this... which one is it? Is it this one? Oh, yeah, this one, the asterisk. I mean, oh, I might as well. I mean, I'm gonna play all the missions if I can. All right, you bums, it's laundry day. If you got skivvies piling up, then hand them over. Yup, sure. <sighs> oh, women put theirs in this bag. Don't worry, I'm taking it straight to Karen. Karen. Like, <laughs> Karen from Spongebob? Oh, thank God. I was worried I'd have to give mine up to Raz. Uh, who the hell would want your stinking undies? <laughs> you never know with Raz. He's a real degenerate. Oh, okay. I don't know if... I don't know if Raz is that kinky shit. Who else would shit. try to sneak into a strip club at ten years old? Damn, Raz. <laughs> Raz is a fucking player, man. Wow, I remember that now. And he busted his adult disguise before he even got in. How could you even disguise that? Like, what was... I can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Publicly humiliated, wearing that stupid wig and high heels. I don't know if they busted him so much as he got too excited and passed out just outside the door. He did? What? what? Wait, are you serious? That's even better. Look, you guys can think whatever you want, but I only did that on a dare. Okay? Don't worry, Raz, Raz had more courage than any other ten-year-old I would have ever imagined. Oh, well that changes everything. Clearly you're a badass. Oh, I'm, I'm are, sure right? he's uh, murdered several Imperial soldiers, so... I mean, I, was just about I won't to mess with him. Uh, oh, that's a relief. Death Why a relief. is that a relief for you? <laughs> well, I just... There was a commotion over here, so... Anyway, do you have enough clothes to last you? Well, doesn't the, the, the army supply with yeah, that? Like, I brought plenty with me, I mean, so I, I guess... should be fine. I guess if he's the platoon leader or um, squad leader or whatever, I've he'd probably be in charge of logistics. Yeah. Oh, right. That isn't a standard issue Edinburgh uniform. Yeah. What up? Well, on paper I'm a grenadier, but Wait. my main job is more like a scientist. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, in um, Napoleon Total War, I don't know about Empire, but I know um, you can play as like the, uh, the like uh, Great Britain. And you can recruit uh, the Highlanders, which is an elite infantry, like a line infantry, and they wear uh, kilts, I think. Do they? Yeah, I think they do. So, I mean, technically, Enbro, like, Highlanders, like, uh, uh, I don't know about that. I guess I impressed Might be someone with issue. all the tech I worked on, because they made me an officer. An officer? Damn. But since I never went through the academy, I don't have much real authority. Unofficial I'm like, lieutenant? Can unofficial lieutenant? Hell? I see. Either a lieutenant or not. They just didn't have an appropriate uniform to give you. <laughs> let me exactly. just check it. Pose so I real quick. Them in to this. let me design my own. Uh. So, like, design your own uniform. That's like the. Uh, I remember the um, kind of history buff going off right now, but like in the beginning of the Civil War. Aren't there some <laughs> issues with wearing that in battle? <laughs> nah, you're fine. Gives you more mobility, you know. You can you can stretch out more, you know. But um, anyways, back to the Civil War. They uh, uh there's like a problem, especially I think it was the Battle of Manassas or first Battle of Bull Run. They had um, there's a lot of different units from uh different uh uh states and whatnot in different locations so like they all had different uniforms and uh, I mean you can see in like reenacting stuff like uh, especially the confederates they had like different colored like different tones of gray and stuff so like what it's both practical and it'd be like hard to pick even out like who's we who kids, even though I mean it's only ever worn skirts game. not even the army can make her wear pants now 
if you're jealous, Claude, I'm sure we could find you a nice flirty skirt. Hey, it's a kilt, okay? Jealous? Uh, no, <laughs> Th that's not... <laughs> Come on, guys. Come on, guys. It's, it's not like that, okay? Alright. Now it's the real episode. Or chapter, whatever. Claude? Claude? That's weird. He should be around He's here. Is that messing right? around in the toolbox. Uh, yeah. Where are you? He's inside of a toolbox. Down Help, here. I'm stuck. Under the Hoffin. No, he's he is the Sorry, tank. Sorry, I've got my hands full. <laughs> Mind if I work on this while we talk? It's a talking tank. Sure, that's fine. He's a transformer, I right? I just wanted to ask you something. <clears throat> this thing does not want to move. <clears throat> I've been thinking about adjusting my grenades. Adjusting them? Come how so? On, damn you! Yeah. Uh, 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 really? Seems so Are interested. Are you even listening? <laughs> uh, yep, I'm yep. listening. Something, Something about, about grenades. Grenades? I'd like to try modifying them. I think it could give us some more options in combat. Like a smoke grenade? So I was wondering if or I could a gas use some grenade? of the Hoffin spare parts. Uh, I don't think they have any spare parts. Wasn't that what something they were saying like last well, they time? They seem friendly enough. I mean, on the surface. Wait, what? They can stand there and talk, but there's still a gulf between them. Call it kind of a hunch. Yeah? You think they're that complex? Complex? I guess it's just woman's intuition. Except that I'm a man here. Don't forget it. Like there's any chance of that. <laughs> But seriously, no guy's gonna nice. ask this tight. I mean... Why are we still here? Just to suffer? Maybe oh. if you do a lot of, uh, oh. a lot of workouts, oh. I mean, you could. Oh, come on! What the hell was that for? I could ask the same of you. Are you serious? It was just a friendly yeah, butt pat between dudes! Yeah, it's just a friendly oh, pat on the ass. <laughs> that was a hell of a swing! It's just, yeah, it's just a friendly pat on the ass, Trust you know? Me. Like, good Getting job, man. Getting with these things is gonna be incredible. You're totally gonna love... What the... For real? Are those two seriously gonna fight right here? Wait, what? Who's gonna, Who's fight? gonna fight? Who the heck do you think? Raz and... <laughs> Raz and... <laughs> <laughs> of course, man. Dude, he's gonna get... Claw's gonna get fucking curb. Oh my god, he just got curb stomped. <laughs> Yo, rip, rip, Claude. Fucking got curb stomped for getting a fucking nice ass view right there. Oh wait, wait. There we go. Next episode. I don't know how long we've been going, but.